Well, the university declined comment for this particular story, but on its website, the institution asked its critics to take their heads out of the sand. NBC's Christine Tan reports on why Fusikir's Jay Heiser has gripes about the university's latest addition to its curriculum. It's glamorizing uh, an activity, an antisocial activity, and has nothing to do with what a uh, typical information security person w would do in their office during the day. Heiser says when a university teaches how to create malicious content, they risk becoming breeding grounds for potential hackers. Case in point, the 1980s Lehigh virus and the Robert Morris internet worm virus both were spawned out of a university environment. Associate Professor Adrian Chock disagrees. I think you cannot uh, say that university, universities can uh, not teach some you know, particular field um, because um, any field at all will have you know, good and bad uh, applications. All right? so, um, I think it's very dangerous for companies or, or governments right, to tell universities you cannot study this. It's a matter of emphasis here and this was used as a, really this was presented as, as a way to gain publicity by saying we are, off, we are going to teach our information security students how to create hostile code. Um, it's, not, um, it's not that other organization, other educational institutions do not examine hostile code, but they don't make it an explicit part of their curriculum that students will actually be creating it. Chalk highlights the fact that hackers do not have to go to universities to learn how to hack. Sites like O.2600 provide how to hack information at the click of a mouse. That's true, says Heiser, but graduates that have security exploitation courses in their curriculum vitae may not get hired. It isn't the type of background that we would look for in our employees or that our clients would look for in their employees. It's just not the course material that's needed to reduce the risk in a corporate business environment. I think employers would want students or graduates to have as much and good knowledge as possible. What they are referring to are probably people with criminal background. IT security information consultant Chua believes universities like Calgary are offering a much needed experimental approach to understand internet security. It's quite interesting actually for the students and that way they are motivated to learn rather than saying today we have topic 1.1a, you know, this is operating system. According to the University of Calgary, the current approach reacting to the viruses is simply not working. This is the main reason why it's offering the computer virus course. The um, antivirus and uh, security companies have, have their own have their own financial interests. Uh, uh, if if some college student you know comes up with uh, um, you know a software which can not prevent software not on the reactive level but proactive, you know just just run it on your computer. You don't need any updates and maybe even releases it as, as freeware. You know uh, that could put a lot of people out of business. And this may make companies like True Secure a little insecure. For Generation E, I'm Christine Tan.